All right, this is a follow-up from uh, my last demo showing how to generate a document, Word document, using Power Automate. Because what happened is that I went through a lot of detail into the Power Automate, so this one, and I was showing how exactly when a new item is created in a list, we go ahead and we create a Word document, we populate it. The Word document has to be prepared in advance, of course, so it looks like something like this. So we have some fields using the developer mode here. All good. But uh, what is kind of missing is that once we were ready and the Power Automate has been published, we just have to go into the list. And I was saying, OK, let's go duplicate or create a new entry. So Power Automate is going to kick. And unfortunately, I uh, the video just stopped. So this is the new one. All right, so let's do a new item, this time not even a copy. So I'm going to say session name is going to be of things that I do a lot. MS team intro as a training. Session code is going to be TS453. And then we carry on, OK? So it's going to be a little workshop description of training. And then we can, uh, I don't think we have all these fields in uh, in our Power Automate, in our Word, I mean, but we can always do that. Then, of course, when is it starting? So it's going to start at 10 on the first tick. And when it's finishing at, uh, let's say, 12. OK, capacity is going to be 5, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and participant is the important one actually. We do have this in Word because we want to say, uh, for instance, Joe Jack, the name of the person who is going to come. So let's save it. And of course, we have a new item over there, so it's showing in my list. But what is more important is that we need to monitor. So let's go to Power Automate one step back so that we can see what is been running. So we just have to refresh it every now and then. And it's going to come. So I will pause until it starts uh, running. Okay, it actually took about two or three minutes almost, but we can see that when I refresh, now it's running. And if we open the log, let's have a look. So the log is quite nice because it's visual, a bit like some other workflow like Nintext or K2 tells us exactly what's going on in the background. So it was actually much faster to run it than showing us the log so we can see new item created it has done our word document and it's created our file so let's double check where is the file because we've done it quite a while ago it's going to be in shared document general session okay and then it has the name of my participant so that i don't have i'm not going to erase each uh, uh, or replace each word document so let's go in the library you can see it here Joe Black, if I open this, it should be a Word document with all our fields. Great. And you can see that now we will do some work in Power Automate to format the date, etc. But pretty much OK. And then we have the description of the training. So all this is clearly in the SharePoint list. OK, so that was for the little demo. And now let's see if we can do another one with a lot more text. OK. This topic is um, it's really interesting, actually. The first video was how to make the Power Automate. We now have a second one showing uh, that the Word document really is working. So it does generate our document. But now I got a new question as well, which is, does it allow over 255 characters? So let's have a look. So same power to make, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to create a new SharePoint list item. And of course, we're going to make sure that it has a lot of characters. So let's do test long uh, character for my session name. Session is going to be test. OK. And again, any kind of a Right, so now description. Description, we are putting it into our Word document. So it needs to be quite large. So let's just uh, take this kind of uh, 
document and you can see I just used the uh, our famous RAND 40 for instance hip, to generate some doc some um, characters and if I uh, select enough you can see at the bottom word it's telling me 478 but how many actually let's go ahead and uh, and see how many character count there's a way here isn't it word count here we go so character uh, no space etc so we are over it's going to be like super big 3000 so I'm going to select everything let's be crazy copy yep and back to our SharePoint and here we are going to save all this so oops grammar is getting on the way but we can see all the characters okay great so now I'm going to put myself here date start and date and it's going to be 10 again this doesn't really have any implication anyway okay here let's put um let's just do another one just random text yes and uh, let's put something like this okay copy Close this, just going to check how many again. So if I just replace it in Word and I can count if I click here, in fact, so I have 2000 now. Brilliant. Ah, great. This has closed my document, isn't it? All right, never mind. Here we go. Now we put a very long one, which was this one. Date. Date again here for 10. Location. You can see it's a live demo. I'm not cutting anything. And now we're going to put the Latin logan ipsoup here we go all right so this is going to be test user long car so that's my person so it's going to be saying test there test user and we save this so yes it is true that we would anticipate that well actually it's a lot of characters how is this going to to deal with it let's just uh, check all this yeah it's huge right <laughs> brilliant Right, so Power Automate, we're going to refresh. And hopefully it's, it will run within one or two minutes. Pause. Here we go, it's running. Open it. Let's see if it's usually almost completed already. But since we have quite a lot of data, it's uh, it may take a little bit longer this time. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, all green, so it's all being passed. And again, we have our find name like this with the name of the user. So if we go to the library, test user must be that one. Let's check, make sure that uh, you all trust me. It's going to be a minute ago, that's it. So I open it. Uh, yeah, we don't have the background. Is it coming? Maybe it's coming. So it's telling me there, test user, etc. Training, then the reminder of the course, and we can see the full text is here. Right? And I didn't have the next description of the notes, in fact, which was in, in Latin, but if I was to add it, it would be the same as the first field, so it's pretty good. And just to double check, here we have selecting the text. And back in Word. Okay, so count it. And we have 8,000 characters. Pretty good. 
All right, so hopefully that demonstrates that yes, it is going to work with over 255 characters.